is that I could basically go ahead and um, give it any name I can, ending with the word Vail. So I could say, since this is called Rockwell Center, I could say, go fuck yourself, Vail Center. Or, suck my dick, Vail Center. It's very customizable. Or, Mew, or Mew Vail Center. Anyways, so let me just tell you right now, between those clouds over there, and these clouds right now, yeah, there's your window of opportunity right there, between the two. Yeah, the reason why I cut the first part was because that's part one. Okay, well that's part three or something, I don't know. Let me think, what's... what's I don't know. So part one is just the entry. Part two would be all this. Part one is the is, is pre pre um departure. Part two is well from Babylon to well it's supposed to be Babylon to Limbrook, but let's just say Babylon Rockwell Center. And then part three is this. But you can definitely tell there's a stealth cloud somewhere here. And part four will be going back to Babylon and well I don't know part five. I don't know if it will be a part five, but if it is, it's probably going to be a pre-port of observing this, who knows. I just need to make sure I get to Babylon in time before darkness. But yeah, you can definitely tell, like, look at all, look at all around here. I wouldn't be surprised if right there is a tornado, or if right there is rain wrap, or if there's hail here. I wouldn't be surprised if we get some tornado action here, as that looks like it could be a tornado up there. Yeah, I can't get that song now out of my head, the Pops and Nova Melody. Okay, I have the ticket, thank god. So I drop it, I'll be fucky fuck. I'll be really fucky fucky wucky wucky fuck. Twenty. Anyways. There's a candy store there. Do I have time to check out that candy store? Probably not. I'm checking out the weather. Not a not some fucking candy store in a fucking town called Rockville Center. Actually, I'd rather call it Rockville Century because it's R E instead of E R. But then again, it's historically historically we were British British um subjects, so R E was used instead of E R. We just so happen to flip it around. Dialects are awesome, right? But look at that stealth cloud all the way over there. Like, that is some gnarly stealth cloud. So I just say gnarly, fuck it. Look at that. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a tornado in that, um, envelops in there. And look at it over there, too. Like, there, there could be a ton of tornado action in this thing. This jam. Oh, there was lightning. I just saw lightning over there. Just throw some lightning over there. All right, so let me get right here. There's something. They're behind. Have fun. Um, but yeah, I wish I could zoom in, but I can't due to the fact that my fucking camera on the other side of this thing is fucking broken. Also, there was another lightning strike over there. Yeah, this storm is coming in close. But there's that stealth cloud over there, like, damn, look at that good stealth cloud. Yep, that's lightning. We're going back to Babylon, so we will avoid this for now. But when we come back, I don't know if we will. I know right now in Manhattan it's probably starting to rain. It's probably starting to get bad in Manhattan, but we don't know about that just yet. If anything persists, then yes, I'll come back and record, um... I'll record more storms if it's if time persists. If not, then time will not persist, then no. Luckily though, we'll be in a shelter waiting for the bus, so we don't have to worry about getting wet at all. So to speak. Um, 
But yeah, the clouds are already enveloping us. And supposedly at this time, the sun should be like right over around, like right there. Just about heading sunrise, sunset. If not, it should have already been sunset by now. Uh, but this is the early. Yeah, look at this. I just don't, I almost just don't want to, I almost don't want to leave Rockville Center just to record all this, but I have to. But I mean, look at that over there. Jesus, fuck. Like, enveloped in all this could be a tornado. And then there's lightning in the back over there. And then there's more of these. I'm doing this with my leg. How do you guys like, how do you guys like my socks? Is it great? Nice, thanks. I miss nothing. Anyways, here comes my train. Unless it's a double-decker. If it's an M3, it's even better, but still. Let's see. Oh, there it goes again. before we get back on the train and get back to Babylon. And from Babylon, um, I don't know. Right now, we're basically going to avoid this for now. So I wouldn't be surprised if we get a tornado or two on, in Nassau County and hail and stuff. I wouldn't be surprised if we get an EF2 tornado in New York City. As everything's unstable at this point, even people are becoming feral animals again. Well, politi politi politically speaking, yeah, we're being feral animals again. But still. But mostly it's an America thing. Well, I mean, then again, Trump is being famous on right, but for the wrong reason. So let's just see. Let's just see uh, where we can sit. Let's start. And, uh, yeah, I have but no clue where we can sit. self-cloudness over there.
definitely see the shelf of that. So you can definitely see some shelving. For now, we're going to take the work of it. It's getting darker now. Worst thing is that we don't get there in time before it's completely dark or something, which is already what's gonna happen anyway. Yeah, fuck this car dealership. It could have been a greenery or a park or some kind of nature reserve or something, or some kind of memorial park or something. No, it's not a fucking car dealership. Update. How are the buses here? Also, I'll update. Why is it still blocked? What in God's name happened to that it's still blocked? Wait, hold on, that doesn't make sense. What the fuck? Wait, what the fuck? That's the N40. Wait, what the fuck is happening? Also, there's a, there's a Frepper factories over there. Like I said, Freeport's nickname is Frepper. So, Merrick, I have no nickname for that, as I'm still in the process of thinking of one. Maybe, get rid of the, get, maybe getting rid of Mare and look, be left with Rick, but that's not creative at all. I'm assuming one or two tornadoes in Nassau County. Oh well. And a lot of places being pelted with hail. Western Suffolk is going to avoid most of it. Central Suffolk is going to avoid... No, Western Suffolk is going to avoid some of it. Central Suffolk is going to avoid most of it. And Eastern Suffolk... Eastern Suffolk is... Basically, Eastern Suffolk is just going to have some rain showers out of this. So, I guess it's good for them. For them glitchy ass motherfuckers. This 
could all be into one whole video, but because of course I can't edit for whatever seems to be fit, I can't even, like I have to basically split them up, split them up into separate videos. But I do have other videos that are behind this one, so I basically have to upload, I have to mass upload, and then on the next day, mass upload again. And you could have transferred to the N51 on this station. It's going to be to a point where it's going to be speed off for me and buggy to the one. So, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if there will be some gaps on Long Island due to some tornadoes. I wouldn't be surprised if Manhattan ended up getting rippled by a tornado. But I, but the buildings here surely have been accustomed to tornado proofing, right? It's not like some buildings in Manhattan are going to get up, uprooted and lifted and towers destroying more towers from a tornado. That won't happen, right? I'm trying to jinx it if you weren't realizing. Belmore Telmore, but that's again uncreative. How about Bell Less? But that wouldn't make sense either. Uh, like I said, I think it's going to be hard for me to understand the Transfer to the N45 tonight. Yeah, there are a lot of key loops that need to be brought back. The N51, N40, N45 are two of them. Partly because the N51 goes to be on Fry America Avenue and the N45 basically serves Uniondale Avenue and it serves a lot of Uniondale and Roosevelt, so that's why. Definitely see some shelving. I could see even a tornado from there. Look at that shelf cloud. Look at that. Watch this train from Grand Central be an M9. And that I'm not on an, on an M9. It's about, to be, it's about to be at this station in four minutes, so I'm assuming it's almost at Wonka Station. Let's just see. Also, that's the downtown right there, if you didn't realize it. I think it's a better downtown than, than most places in Little Dallas. Like, one of the best downtowns in Little Dallas has to be Garden City, but again, that's one of the most wealthiest areas in the Middle Dallas, which is holding the Middle Dallas and the whole area as a whole, Manila and Hampton together. Without Garden City, we'd all be fucked. So, yeah. But again, they're not, just because they're the wealthiest in the Middle Dallas, doesn't mean they're not prone to, um, to basically breaking apart and falling.
Once Garden City falls, the whole middle of the island in North Shore falls with it. And don't think that the South Shore is also protected from being, from doing the exact same thing.
the MCA worker got punched in the face or whatever, and then they got beat up or something, just for, just because those guys weren't showing a ticket. I don't know, was it worth ticket or two worth for those fuckers? But eventually they got off at Wine Dance. Do I know why I'm bringing this up? What the fuck is this, eh? Assaulting an MCA out in Long Island Railroad, train crew member is a felony, punish- punishable by up to seven years in prison. The soft ass um, courts of New York City fucking suck. Now, I ain't no Republican. I want to change my uh, registry from Democrat to Independent. Because I don't even want to be a Democrat either anymore. Both of them are fucking stupid. Even the Green Party is. Like, like even probably even the Green Party. It's Masapica, by the way. This is Masapica. here is they basically he got arrested and then he got let go out of bail reform bail reform he got let go yeah he basically assaulted a bus operator a long island railroad transit crew member yeah he only got out by bail i'm telling you bail reform is not good i don't know what how cool is doing up in albany other than sucking 15 other cops up there in her fucking master street probably getting railed three days a year or three days a week getting railed but apparently bail reform isn't doing it at all if people are if of the mca um crews are getting assaulted and then they get out the fucking next day instead of being in prison for seven years you get out in like three hours and then they get out in seven hours instead of fucking seven years that's fucking that's fucking insulting to the mca workers and you wonder why Lee Zeldin was a perfect candidate, but no, New York blue, abortion rights, women's rights, and also, you know, he's linked to Trump and stuff. So what if he is linked to Trump? So fucking what? He, it just doesn't matter. Like, Hochul doesn't know how to run a fucking governor seat, doesn't know how to fucking run the governor seat, let alone probably, I don't even know if she knew how to run the mayor's seat over in Buffalo. But she clearly cannot run this state at all. Only her and her own kind that she can protect. And that's the problem. With Lee Zeldin, he's open to everyone, like Phil Murphy and Led Namont. And Hochul is just a corporate Democrat. She only she only gets in for the money. She doesn't and for the snobs and for white people. She doesn't give it in for the minorities, for transit, for parks, for recreation, for pine barrens, for none of the good stuff. Only the bad stuff to basically blow up this planet even further into hell. In fact, we're already in hell. Global warming and climate change. Then yeah, no shit. And we're basically gonna have a civil war because of Trump's indictment, a world war because you know why, and then the Southeast Asian war. So yeah, like I said, he she does not know how to run the governor's seat. She clearly shows that she can't even do shit right. Same with Cuomo. Yeah, well, at the time, I didn't even realize the Cuomo family was such a fucking corrupted fucking, you know, family. I, at the time, I thought he was a great person. <laughs> um, Governor Cuomo looks Hispanic, okay? I thought he was great. And now I realize that Governor Hoko is literally just Governor Cuomo, but as a female. But otherwise, it's basically the same shit, same shit. Fucking 
discrimination, but then again, I know if I talk about this, I know trolls are gonna come here, haters are gonna come and fucking uh, want to, you know, fuck me up at this point, basically try to shut me up. And here's what I have for those haters. Does the love like I give a shit about you? No. These trolls as well. Does the love like I give a shit about you? No. But we could literally just ignore you and basically, uh, Oh yeah, right. So basically, why I bring up Hokel is because again, like bail reform isn't an option that's good unless you found a way to basically say that these certain crimes will get you no bail, and uh, these will. Uh, right. You have to because it's not with bail reform, but bail reform. There, it, it's not even called a bur- it's not even called bail reform at all. It's just bail. There is no reforming in that one. There's no reform. The a reform is basically to convert someone from bad to good. In other words, so in other words, bail reform would have to basically let them go, leave out of prison, but they have to go through probation, therapy, vaccine that I was supposed to get earlier, psychiatric help, or even parole or something, or I don't know, or having to be under the care of someone, their wife, their siblings, their parents or whatever but instead all it is is just hey you're free you're you can bail reform you're free now get the fuck out of this prison and then they get the boot on they just basically hit they just kick it what's it called they just shove they just give you the boot and you're free now we're at the point where it's going to be down to you governor's office at all. And with Trump, well, let's just say Trump is a whole video on its own. Probably a three-hour video, so I'll, I'll wait for that. And anything local that happens as well. Like Belmore, for instance. Republicans don't give a shit about transit or environment stuff. Democrats do. But then again, Democrats love to blame everything on Republicans for no reason. Republicans don't. But then again, in the end, every politician is a six-year-old whiny little crybaby who still hasn't grown out of their mom's crib. Or their parents' crib. And still acts like fucking immature little children who basically need to be whipped with... with the, who need to be basically BDSM whipped with the fucking belt or whip or get... or basically get... 40 across the ass with La Chancla. And then it was a slipper. Because apparently, politicians here fucking suck. And you wonder why the, f- the fucking general public doesn't trust the, the, uh, the federal government. Hell, George Santos is one reason. He's the 
one he's one reason why we don't we don't even trust the federal government. I mean, really quick, like apparently Trump gave hush money to Stormy Daniels to a porn star. This, see, there's the first problem with Trump. You decided to um you decided to have sex with a porn star. That's your first problem right there, um, Trump. So that's on you. And second, he basically literally said on January sixth that the election's unfair. Now go ahead and riot in the Capitol and go ahead and spread my name and fame. Well, that's basically the that's basically the gist or a nutshell of it. And now he's basically tweeting out that if he gets arrested, which he now is, that's going to be massive gas riot and destruction now in the streets. In other words, he's basically saying, hey, since now I'm arrested, now this whole entire country is falling into despair. Well, I mean, there you go. I mean, the best way to fall into despair is if you are a, if you are a member or a participant of Dangan Rampa. Hello. I think Ron DeSantis, you know, if Ron DeSantis does win the presidency, the Florida governor, if, he, if, if the Florida governor wins the presidency, it's no longer going to be called Florida man anymore, Florida woman. It's going to be called America woman, America man. This is the train to Babylon. The next and last station is Babylon. Do it like you did with the subway, Scott, my MTA. Um, so the next thing you gotta do is get to Babylon and then get back. Luckily for me, though, since, well, I was expecting to get this ticketed again, so please look. I only got a ticket once, so I could, I could basically use this again. I don't need to buy another ticket. I don't know that I need to get one. So we're good. So Babylon, we'll just in and out. And then at Babylon, we'll just end the video. Um, but yeah, I am a little disappointed though. We're going to be able to get to, um, what's it called? Um, we're going to get over to Limbrook. That's what I needed to do. Because the one train I needed to get to Limbrook for fucking left the moment I got to Babylon. Just from between this little part over here all the way to Amityville, fucking is fun. It's like you're bouncing up and down. That's probably the one thing I do love about the Babylon branch is that you're bouncing up and down, up and down between the two stations. Between like the three stations, I don't know. It's just the yeah, station. It's like you're up and down. The other part is you're based on the center of the highway, which is like a fucking highway. 
but most of the best parts is just pumpkin, you know, just have to go up and down like that. Yeah, it just looks nice. But no, it's, it's like being cradled. We're almost at a bad block. So, yeah, we're going to have to get to the city. And Freeport and Lindenhurst. No, that's Lindenhurst. So, we're almost at a bad one. So, yeah. But, yeah, like I said, the trend I was going to take to Lindenhurst is fucking left. So, yeah, there you go. Lightning strike within 14 miles of the current location. Well, you don't say. I already just saw the lightning strike earlier back in Rockville Center. Fucking hell. And you're here. This station is Babylon. There's a high school, by the way, and there's a so we're gonna go under and back up. So the next one to um, New York City is which? Fucking tell me, you fucking pieces of shit timetable ass. Um, there's a Macca's commercial. It's an advertisement for Macca's. Um, Finally made it through all of this. This is going around exclusively doing it again. This is gonna take over this is gonna get taken over to the yard and is that it? That's probably a train, I don't know, but if it is, I gotta get down here and go all the way up and then go back down again. Whatever, I don't know. could be our train, that could not be our train, but we'll see. But these things don't want to show, they only want to talk about fucking train time map or whatever. If it is an M3, we will, I will then record that, but if it's not, then I won't, but we'll see. Yeah. 
after 24 minutes. So this is just it. So I'll get back to where I started and then I'll just end this video. So yeah, that's about it. Um, also these white cards here. Why well, should sure everything have to be white in this fucking space? You're supposed to walk on the escalator. You're supposed to walk on the escalator. The escalators were originally meant for like for you to walk up here so you can get up here faster. Holy shit, that was a lot of lightning. That's a lot of lightning. Now we're back here. Peace. Well for those in New York City and Jersey, Connecticut, whatever, stay safe and hope you didn't hope you're not dead from a tornado. If you're dead from a tornado, then fuck. There's no way of helping you. Peace.